Alright, I don't remember where we're heading. Or I think I do. Never mind. Boy, was that around? We undocking right now. Your man. No. <laughs> I gotta land somewhere so I can get my people back because of that ship. Oh, here's my chance. Right here is a new Lantis. Uh I think we did there. I'm not sure though. I'm I have sorry. something for you when you have a moment. Can turn into what? If you don't Fair mind, off. I'd like to Giant speak to Admiral Admiral Logan. It's off his ship. Let's get the new scanning protocol. On our watch, no heat leech enters this city. Understood. 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 All right. Let's get out here then. Let's get it. Oh crap. Cab. I swear I know how to play this game. Um. Wait, what? Is there somebody else that needs to go? Let's, um, assign this guy. There we go. Maybe I'm counted as number five and that little girl's counted as... That could be a thing though. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Mm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Right, right, right. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. I have no idea. I've flown across most of the seven systems in all manners of spacecraft. I take it I'm going to Glen Bank, right? Back to this guy again. Sarah, calm it down. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives.
No. No. Never. Not at all. I I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, look. Please don't... Don't mention this to my supervisor, okay? She'll give me a low rating, and I'm gonna end up scrubbing floors. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. Unprofessional guy. But I'm gonna say one thing that makes it even funnier. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah! What the heck is going on here? Unexpected. Get rich or that guy. Show me what you got. Show me what you made of. Huh? Move my rock. Okay, quick. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. I'm already on it right now, but you get mad when I'm over encumbered. How do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Come on, guy. I'm going to yeah. No. <clears throat> Knock it off, guy. Oh crap, I forgot I could uh I got I got the quick uh quick menu thing. I'm the only one shooting right now. Security guard go. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. I don't know what you're talking about.
That poor guy's gonna be waiting a lifetime before he gets in. Oh, we're almost making it. To you, Captain. After you, Captain. I think once I run out of room, I can put stuff in my... Savior, thanks again for the assist. Yeah, no problem, guy. I lost two good companions because of one mission. All right, <laughs> one stupid mission. I had to get a small ship. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. All right, guy. Is. Now you buy from me, you can look good and protect your ass at the same time. You might find a deal or two here. You want to if you can overlook the spatters of blood covering all the stone goods. Set up. <laughs> of course. about your latest project just to make it quick oh she has resources
I don't know, med kits? Well, you suck. We're done here? Yeah, Great. we've been done for a while. Looking to make quick work of your enemies? Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Give me what you're selling. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff Sistev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Well, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Most people just glaze over and learn the hard way. Maybe there's more to you than I thought. Plenty of merchandise to choose from. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. Never. Uh, okay. Don't even... If it's hard to find, I've probably got it. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. I bet. Nero boost marks. Sure, why not? I don't know what that is, but I'm going poor right now. Always a pleasure. You have something for me? What'll it be, friend? Buying, selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. They even managed a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. Not everyone thinks so. I'm still Trade Authority, not a part of the fleet. There are a few, Neva included, that see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. Always looking forward to something mutually beneficial. I wonder what happens if I'd shoot him. Would anybody care? <laughs> oh my god, no one has any flipping. Uh... Ooh, did you picks? You find anything of value, bring it here first. Yeah, 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 guy. 
I don't know who this guy is he's looking for. Need some medical assistance? I always thought heat leeches would. Every time I see Randley smile, I want to punch him in the face. Need to have Jazz look at my graph drive. I swear it's not jumping to the right. Got mixed feelings about my last job. You'd probably be in the bar, I would I imagine, feel right? Once I spend them. Yeah? Yeah? Isra's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. The fleet protects our world, but you turn against us, and you are dead. Bald Krog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. Where's the bar at? I know I've seen it somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Maybe they're in the bar. Radley called me his friend once, and made me want to vomit. Bugs are soft. You get to kill him. I was wondering when you'd wander my way. The name's Fergus. Fergus Wickham. But you could call me Bog. Welcome to the Last Nova, where the drinks are never free. As long as you're buying, stay as long as you like. The last Nova never sleeps, so no last call here. Since it's your first time with us, I'm willing to make an exception to the rule and offer you my speciality on the house. One free bottle of Bog's Grog. That's the spirit. I knew you'd be the adventurous type. And if you like it, you're in luck. Cheapest drink you can find, and guaranteed to drown those sorrows. Yeah, working around this lot day in, day out. You'd think they wouldn't give a damn. I think I need to take you up on that offer. I guess I'm thinking of my dear old Maddie, the only woman I ever loved. Almost married her, I did. I missed my chance and lost her to one of my best mates. I'll tell you what, if you want to help an old man out, bring me back the one thing in Maddie's that ever meant anything to me. Maddie had my eye back in the day. Thing was, she had the eye of my best mate too. A bloke by the name of Clay Dietrich. Clay and I in the luxury line snatched a ring I knew Maddie would love. Before I could say anything, Clay asked if he could have it and he used it to propose. Long story short, Clay married Maddie and they ran off to raise hell with Ecliptic. And then he got the poor girl. You're in luck. Clay showed up on my radar a bit ago. Probably why I'm in a bigger rump than usual. I'll send you the details. I don't care how you do it. Just get that ring back. All right. Hey, Cap. Are you hiring? Got some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. I suppose I can't rightly blame you for that. It's the Varun Zealots. Been on my tail a while. And they're easy enough to avoid in places like this, but 
I'm history if they see my ship cruising around the space lanes again. If the Varun Zealots don't sound like a problem to you, then I can't wait to see what you're made of. Wouldn't be much of a smuggler if I wasn't willing to cut a deal, would I? Let's hush it out. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but... You do have a point. You're a good negotiator, Cap. I'll cut you a deal. Sure, fine by me. I'm looking forward to the adventure. Sounds like a plan. Crap, I'm spending all my creds all in one place. Get off my ass and do a job. Maybe a heist. No, maybe both. But first, another drink. Alright, we need to go. I get lost. Maybe that's the whole Look point at the anymore. state of this place. It's amazing the key is still in one piece. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let's go get the elevator out. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. Now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. EM-class? <sighs> Impossible. There isn't a ship in operation that can navigate that type of interference. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM-class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. The Rook's right. We tackle one problem at a time. Can we track it, neighbor? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, 
I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. I promise? You gonna write that in your diary, little girl? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Does she not want her uh, statue? Because I could go sell it right now. <laughs> I spent quite a few creds right now. Oh, my God. There needs to be a walking. There probably is a walking option. I just don't know what the key is. Because we... On the keys. <laughs> Get it? Got it? I know, it funny. We may not have official security on the key, but we are always looking out for traitors. Oh my god, Neva. You're taking forever right now. Smuggling beats a real job any day. Oh, you have no idea. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I gonna be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would've been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call, but that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Oh, man, really? I haven't found any evidence, though. I was kind of hoping to find a lot of evidence so I can make all kinds of money. Start something? Cause I'll finish it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This time I will get right into the I cockpit. I have things for you. Yes, and so did Barrett, but every time I'd go to go check, you had nothing. We're free and clear for flight. Set of course. Where? Need something? The bad guys are still bad guys, you know. Well, that's all I have to. It's good okay. to be on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stuffy sometimes. Guess how it feels to be in the vanguard, just waiting around for orders. Excuse me, guys. Move out of my What's way. What's new? Everything's new right now.
again. Surprised they're not tracking my ship right now. <laughs> Operations does good work. Yeah, whatever, guy. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the Archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. <sighs> it sounds like you admire that lunatic. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Your best buddy has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Early reports say your mission on the Siren was a success. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. All right, we're gonna go. I warm up the engines. Oh. Yeah, every time. Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy. Hello, Captain. Hello. Sir Isaac Baird. <laughs> Just kidding. I miss I miss Sir Isaac Clark. That's why they need nice. to clean set there. Remake Dead Space 2. Ah crap, I was gonna scan that, but Nah. To the keys. You know my great grandfather you made that time, right? <laughs> We're here. Right. I remember the first time trying to dock. That was a nightmare. I didn't know how it was even done. Ship is now docked. All right. Perfect. Didn't even 
smudge the paint. Whoa. Why well, kicked her out of like here? See didn't I? Dream, you Any day you make it through is a victory in my life. <laughs> interested in every time I turn around you have nothing so I'm not doing it right now yeah whatever yeah all right we're back every captain here's earned their stripes Please. all right jazz what do you got According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Don't worry, we know how to deal with her type. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. We paid good money for the information, so I'm sure it works. And if it doesn't, a certain source at Mast is gonna have to deal with a very pissed off Neva. And that would be the end of that. You just bring the tech here, I'll do the rest. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so, I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. <laughs> okay, you'll make sure. More like, get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here, and don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. B 
Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. If you get into deep trouble, and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. We'll talk later. All right, all right, all right. We'll figure it out. We always do, right? We always... Wait, 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 wait. No, I never did. All right, hopefully this goes well. All right, let's get this crate into space. Ugh. Every time. I'm bored to death. Tell me you have something for me. Eventually. <laughs> when, I don't know. I gotta make an outpost for these peoples. Docking seal released. Eventually. I mean, I do got an outpost, but it's not. It's not an outpost, outpost. what I was going to do. I have something for you when you have a moment. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Let's go. Wait, what? I could have just landed at the spaceport if I knew that. Even though this was back here, I do now. The whales. Might be interested in. We're not doing that again. Oh god. Problem? No, I'm just looking. Kay's house. Take your neighbor's new recruit. Careful, the walls have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. There's more at stake than just your route. 
We are determined to get on that station, with or without your help. I realize this is important to Delgado. I also know he would just as soon kill me to get what he's after. I'm simply setting boundaries to help protect my interests, while still serving Delgados. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. Fine by me. If this goes bad, the less I know, the better. And if I do get caught, there'll be nothing to confess to. Enough to be on a first-name basis with the Marines working the cops. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. True, but silence is a powerful thing. I find the best way to get to know someone is to watch them work. Talking just muddies the picture. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. We'll talk more on the ship. All right, I get to part be part of someone else's crew. Whoa, how did you get up down there? Or she was probably down there the whole time. Hey, somebody can get lost in this place. I'm telling you right now. Dun, dun, dun. You don't have anything for me. Knock it off. You see any heat leeches? Leeches have families too. Listen, guys. No. <laughs> you will be scanned as you enter the city. What kind of ship does she have? Oh my god. Wow. Okay. If I can steal it, I'm I'm good to go. That was fun. Now what? Uh, I don't know. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Right. Oh, I can take stuff? Well, let's look. I want ideas. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm here to steal everything you have. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Oh my god. Just looking for crits. Uh... Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Except for the Crimson Fleet themselves, right? 
Uh, so I'm lost now. Nah. Oh, here you are. Maybe I'm not so lost. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. Hello. I was right. I gotta go back to my ship real quick. Because I find the way out, right? Always looking for the next mark. I'm just looking for a way out right now. <clears throat> yes. Can I maybe say helps you? I don't remember how I got in here. Maybe I forgot to unmute, but you know what? Doesn't matter right now. Oh yeah, I gotta put those in my thing. That's it, right? Alright. Well, it's gotta be what it's gotta be, right?
What else am I carrying that's weighing me down? Oh. Can't be aid, right? I mean, it could be. I don't know. It's a possibility that I'm weighed down by 200 things of food. <laughs> Shit parts, why am I not surprised? Whoa. Hey! How are you? Was I eating those? Ah crap. I was eating those. Oops. It's on me. My bad, my bad, my bad. Can't believe I did that, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm gonna steal this ship. She's gonna give it to me. I could use this, even though I can't fly right now. Yes? Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Move! Out of my way. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Right. Howdy. Nope. We got lost last time. I think it was this way, right? Yes. What? No. No. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you're in the fleet. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yes. All right. A few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. Rest assured, Delgado put us on this job for a reason. We're professionals. Well, that might say more about the rest of his goons than it does you, but point taken. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew to take me. off. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go.
jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. Hello! You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Okay. Hello? Yes, what? You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for Pause. scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. Only military personnel are allowed out of the cargo area. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hello. All right, Hello. sounds like, uh, not fun. <laughs> But we'll figure it out, right? Where was you? Woo! 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 Hey. Hey. Alright, hold on one second. 